guys, Nicole here, and I am going to, going to do my second layout using this um, kit I got from Cheeky Studio. Um, this time around, I'm going to um, actually do some fall layouts, or a fall layout, um, because a good portion of this collection um, is fall themed, and the colors are just beautiful and rich, and, and so... I decided to just scrapbook some photos, um, some family photos that we took before our Thanksgiving um, festivities for the day this last year. Um, so initially I was going to just do one photo and then I decided to do all three. So there was one of just my girls, one of me and the girls, and then a selfie of all four of us. And I decided I like to do... I'd like to do layouts to have one photo a lot just because I just tend to design those easier. But um, one of the, the fun challenges for, I do scrapbook for, for um, a gal um, that has um, a large family and she has me help fill up her scrapbooks. Um, and um, I often for her am doing like a multi-photo layout. And so... Um, Oftentimes that kind of revigorates my love for fitting more than one photo on a layout. So, and I've been doing a lot of that scrapbooking lately. So I decide that I'm going to put multiple photos on this one because I've been kind of in that mode. And so um, I end up doing three photos on this layout and um, I have just printed them with my Canon selfie and um and have, and basically I just kind of separated them out by the two horizontal, I put those together and then I put the vertical one together. I've been taking, it seems like a lot more vertical photos with my phone lately, which is just different, but I appreciate um, having a mix. Sometimes that can seem like a challenge to put a vertical and a horizontal on a layout, um, but I don't mind it. So in this situation, I just treated the two horizontals as kind of their own ver larger vertical photo. So it kind of looks like I have two, two vertical photos, if that makes sense. <laughs> so I've been really liking uh, just the kind of strip layering look lately, um, whether it's horizontal or vertical. And so since I'm gonna have two kind of separate photo uh, areas on this layout, I decided to do um, that. It, it's so funny how you get into like a mode and you do, do a lot of something. And then um, like for a long time, I was just like layering a bunch of papers behind a main photo, putting it in the middle. And then, um, but I've been loving this like strip layering. So um, cause it's just a really great way. It's a really great way to um, combine really fun prints and not have it be overwhelming because these, these prints, in a larger format are going to be way too busy to work with each other. But when you put them in little strips like this, see, um, it works. And you can make, you could definitely add in some more solid solids in there if you wanted to separate them a little bit, but I love how they look together. Um, of course, the colors all mesh well. I mean, the one that has, the paper that has like the um, acorns and the leaves, it, is lacking some of the colors that the other papers have, but those other papers have the colors that are in that paper. And so it all still works together, even though they aren't all super matchy matchy. Um, uh, I also could have, there's a uh, back of one of the papers that has like strips, uh, like border strip type of things. And I easily could have like cut up a bunch of those and, and fit those in. And I could have, you know, done a lot more with it, but because I had three photos on this layout, I didn't have as much room. And so I just kind of picked my favorite, um, designs that I really wanted to get on this page. I really wanted to make sure it felt like fall. Um, since they were Thanksgiving photos and we kind of had the tans and the, we kind of had some black and some pinks and some tans going on. And so, uh, it just worked really well because some of the, the that tan that like my youngest daughter is wearing is really shows up in a lot of these patterns. And it's not totally obvious if you didn't look, but that color is really in a lot of uh, a lot of the papers. And so that's kind of neat. Um, 
so now I'm just, so yeah, so I decided to, sorry, I'm, I got distracted. So I have these long strips on the, on the left. Now, since I'm only doing one photo on the right, I just am kind of doing the same thing, but in a, in, in a shorter version. And then I'm also actually using different papers. Now, if you looked at the layout as a whole, you wouldn't necessarily realize that I, that they weren't, you would think that they were the exact same patterns on each side. Um, but really it's the call, it's the, the fact that all the papers I'm using have the same colors that make you think that because if you look on the right side, I'm actually using complete like a floral paper instead of instead of the animal one. And I'm using um, uh, let's see, I'm using just a couple of rant. I'm actually using like some just different scraps that I had. But because all the colors are the same across the board, it works really well together and it doesn't feel like any of the papers are out of place, even though they may only show up in the layout once. Um, and so I'm just trying to figure out here I how to how I want the photos to lay on the papers. Um, I didn't want to cover them up too badly, but um, I know I needed to a little bit. And so this is kind of how I end up laying it out. So I knew that there was two, maybe three flares I really wanted to use that I had left in this kit. Um, I had some of the little cut apart, um, like titles and journaling cards, like they're the little, like probably one by three or one, yeah, maybe one by three. And I had a bunch of the die cut pack left and that was in a sequence. And I knew I probably wouldn't use too many of the sequins or the bows because they were very pink and um, didn't think that it fit really well because the pink that's in my sweater is a more of an orangey pink. It's, um, it didn't really, I didn't feel like it meshed with this particular layout. Um, so I kind of just was thinking of ideas of how I'm going to use kind of what I have left because I, again, I'm trying not to add to this kit. I'm trying to use it as it was given to me and, um, show how, you know, how much you can make. I could probably make easily at least two more layouts, um, with what I have left, I have lots of paper left. I have the tissue paper and I have a lot of the die cuts left, a lot of the sequins left. And so, um, and just, just, I've been really impressed with this collection of supplies. It's been really, really fun to work with. So I do love that sometimes I can go either way on this, like, because we're all in very neutral tones in the photos. Sometimes I like to pair that with a more neutral layout. Um, but with these photos, um, I the photos that are going to or the layout that's going to come after this is going to be photos of our Thanksgiving dinner with a bunch of family members where there's going to be lots of different colors. Like I'm just looking at the photos right now. There's pinks and blues. And then so I know that the the layout I'm going to do after this um, is going to, is going to have, I'm going to use colorful pattern paper, like th the autumn themed pattern papers. And so the fact that they're going to be kind of next to each other, um, made me lean towards going ahead and using all the really colorful fall, uh, themed items, even though we're in very neutral tones and it actually kind of helps balance out a little bit. The photos are more of a neutral, um, having a neutral feel to them and then the pattern papers make the make them kind of pop out so <laughs> sorry that was like a really long explanation but <laughs> um I'm trying to decide if I want to mat these or not and I just feel like the black is a little too stark even though we're actually wearing a lot of black um in the photo like my dot my both my daughters have one has a black and white plaid and one has a black and white stripe underneath her vest and I have a black plaid um and so I felt like that was maybe adding too much black I want I didn't want it to be so heavy so I decided not to mat them at all because they're already they already have a white border and I just decided to to go with that. If I still had a full 12 by 12 sheet of one of the multi-colored patterns, like there was one that had like a vine going up, I had kind of cut some, I had kind of cut down a lot of them for, for the last layout. I may have trimmed this white cards, 
you know, cardstock and actually um, layered it on. Um, I like to do this a lot. Like I like to layer my main layout background, which is in this situation, a white cardstock, but have a little skinny mat around it of a, a multicolored pattern from the collection I'm working with. And so that helps kind of just bring it helps provide just a little extra color on the outside of the layout. Um, but I didn't have any that I that worked for what I how I wanted it to look that I had. I didn't have any left that were 12 by 12. So um, I go. So I end up doing my little black uh, line around the edge and that that works for me. But this is one of the situations where I probably would have done that um, had I not if I hadn't if I hadn't trimmed down all the papers <laughs> already. But it's all good. So I have these cute little cut aparts and I'm just going to um, layer them. I'm going to create two uh, little clusters of embellishments and journaling places to journal um, using these cut aparts. And then I know I'm going to add in some of the ephemera um, and the flare. So on the right side, I'm just putting them along the top and just kind of tucking them in. So you can see that the icons that are on them because they're, again, they're very fall themed. Um, but I'm gonna use these to date and journal. That one says Autumn Beauty. I'm just using that as my title. <laughs> That's my favorite thing to do. And got my two flares. One has um, mushrooms on it and one has an acorn. And they're just, they're beautiful flare. Their colors are just gorgeous and um, are nice, nice for dimension. I always like to get a little dimension on, on my layout. So now I'm gonna figure out, okay, how, you know what, also, I want to add to these clusters, and I kind of tinker with this for a little bit. It takes me a little bit of time, but I do get a good combination of um, fall-themed, like, leaves uh, added to each cluster, and then I do end up adding... I just went through the sequins. Even though they're, like, a pink mix, there were some that were, like, a very, very light pink, which was totally fine. Like, I didn't want... I didn't want to add, like, a bright pink to the layout, but, you know, sequins can be kind of... Um, because of their see-through nature um where there's a little tone of pink to them but it's more clear um and i just love how how simple this layout ended up really being um it was a lot of fun so so you're gonna see me tinker here for a little bit because again i don't edit <laughs> i don't cut things out this you're gonna see just my process and uh how I just kind of work through what what pieces fit together well and so I am excited to keep working with this collection of supplies. I think I'm gonna try to make another layout or two with it. And then maybe I'll do a layout share, like a full on layout share. Um, so we'll see, we'll see how busy life gets here. We have kind of some crazy things happening and just busy schedules or, but um, I really appreciate Cheeky Studio um, letting me do this for them. I really enjoyed working with their product and I hope you go check out their website. Um, I think they maybe have a sale going on now, but at the very end of this video, you'll also have a code for 10% off, but they might even have a better sale going on. So you might want to check that out for sure. I, oh, I'm contemplating doing a third cluster and I just decided it's too much. I do have a lot of pattern and color going on. So sometimes, sometimes you're just knowing when to say when. Um... So yeah, I've been doing a lot of scrapbooking, but I've been doing it for somebody else. And so, sorry guys, I haven't been doing a ton on YouTube lately. Um, haven't, haven't been really working on a lot of my own stuff lately. Um, but um, 
I have been doing a ton of scrapbooking, so I've been in the mode. So that's a good thing, right? <laughs> um, just doing my lines here. Just it just like helps provide. I don't know. It just kind of provides like a. It just makes it look more finished. I don't even know how to describe why I like this black line around the edge. And I only do it on like all white layouts. I don't do it if there's like a background. I don't know. It's just, that's me. Um, so I'm just trying to just make sure I'm good seeing if there's anything I'm missing and I decide to do these sequins. Uh, just, just again, a little something extra to provide to the clusters. Sorry, you guys see in my hair there in my head. Um, sometimes it's hard to see which ones are darker and lighter. So I have to get it on the paper to <laughs> make sure it's what I want. Oh, what else is new you guys? Hopefully you're all doing well. Hopefully you're getting some scrapbooking in. Um, I have an order from a cherry on top I've been waiting for for a long time. I know it had pre-order stuff on it, so I'm super excited to get that. So my next layout will probably honestly be, or my next video will probably honestly be a, um, a haul if I can get if I can get it shipped to me. <laughs> um, excited to get some of the new goodies. Um, and we're hoping to do an, another scrapbook weekend for nationals, international scrapbooking weekend in the first week in May. Um, see if it, we can make that work. It's kind of a busy time of year. I have a nephew graduating and then my business partner's son is graduating like that next week. And so we'll have to just see what happens. But hopefully, cross fingers, we can get one more scrapbooking weekend in um, in a month or so. I just, I'm tinkering guys. <laughs> I'm just making sure there's nothing else I want to add to this layout. And I decide, nope, I think I'm good. That would have been really cute, that pine cone, but just, I just felt like it was too much. So I quickly journal. So on the, underneath the two photos, I just do the date, like Thanksgiving 2018. And then, and because I had two um, journaling spots on the other side, that's where I do the journaling and I keep it pretty simple because I know I'm going to do another layout next to this one, uh, more of details of like our day. Uh, this is just a pretty basic, like here's our family on Thanksgiving. Um, very thankful for them kind of thing. And this is how I journal guys. I like look at how much space I have and I just have to like, um, approach what I'm going to journal to fit into that, <laughs> into that space. Sometimes I have to like add an another spot somewhere. I have to be creative if I don't get all my things in, but I can usually make it work. Probably not as thorough as it should be, but it works for me. Um, so guys, I think I'm done. This is it. <laughs> Tinkering some more. Um, this is a great um, example of how you can do kind of two clusters and you don't always have to do three. You don't always have to do the triangle um, and it works really great. So that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, happy scrapping again. Check out the end of the video for a coupon, um, an online coupon, and make sure to ch be sure to check out Cheeky Studio. Um, they have some really, really neat supplies. So I appreciate them and I appreciate you for watching. Thank you so much and happy scrapping. Bye-bye.